Good morning. Good morning. You thought I wasn't coming, didn't you? Surprise! Good morning. Good morning. Come on over. So we get, we got Robin and Elizabeth and Danny and Ashley. So I'm going to tell a once upon a time story today, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, there were two teens playing softball. Mm -hmm. It was a big, important game. The final game of the season. Oh, each player, each player out there was trying their hardest to win the game so that their team could be number one, right? The fans, they were all in the, in the stands going, yay, 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 we're number one. It didn't matter, but they were both number one in their minds, right? <coughs> so each team was playing so well. Oh, the game was tied, the score was tied, and it came down to one play. The last batter. Oh my gosh, the suspension is killing Wow. So, the batter comes up, the pitcher tosses the ball, and the batter hits it. And it goes out towards the outfield. And it seemed like everything was in slow motion. <laughs> and it got out, and it went out, and it went out, and the outfielder was there, and, and she engaged it, and she put her glove out, and the ball hit the glove, and the fans went wild, and the ball popped out, and hit the ground. The other team, the batting team, won the game. They scored because the ball was dropped, the runner scored, they won the game. The other team, Lost the game, and the person, the person that dropped the ball, just shook her head. And the coach came out onto the field, and sometimes coaches do. Kind of started yelling, and the girl just looked up at him and said, "Coach, I did my best, and it didn't work." We lost the game, I know. But it is a game, and we are so lucky. We are so lucky that we get to play softball every day. Hmm. Well, the coach had to really think about that and think about maybe the coaching methods going on there. But the coach was kind of right in some ways. Life is hard. Don't let anybody tell you that it's not, okay? Life is hard. Your mama's gonna say, hey, I never told you life was easy, right? Life is hard. But Jesus, in the, in, in the book of Luke, Jesus tells us, and he was preparing his disciples for the reality of life is hard. So he sent his followers out to share God's love. But as he's sending them out, he warns them, he tells them that sometimes things aren't going to be all that great. You're not going to be number one all the time. Sometimes they're going to be good, sometimes they're not going to be so good. But we're a part of God's joyous kingdom, lots of joy in God's kingdom. Yeah. We are loved every day, whether we win the game, whether we lose the game. God's love goes on. Certain things don't work out, we don't win the game, we don't go on the trip, we don't get that special toy we were looking for. Um, we should just, what? Shake the dust, shake the dust off of our sandals and move on. What, what, wait, 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 wait. Shake the dust off of our sandals? What's that mean? Those are the words that Jesus used in the Bible. He's saying that we shouldn't let disappointing times weigh us down or get us dirty or mess up our whole day. Mm -hmm. Just 
just like when we get mud and dirt on our shoes, whether we're wearing sandals, or tennis shoes, or just our feet. We clean off the dirt and move on. The dirt is the bad stuff that That's right. We're doing our best, and we're sharing God's love, and that's what we're called to do, to build God's kingdom. And building a kingdom is pretty hard work, I'll tell you. But we're lucky to get to do it every day. So let's pray again. Dear Lord, Dear Lord, thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Help me to build your kingdom. Help me to build your and help me shake the dust from my sandals. Help me shake the dust from my sandals. When things are hard. When things are hard. Amen. Amen. Okay, here's the easy part. You get to go back.